The female cleaner was cleaning the hotel room when a man was suddenly thrown onto the bed. Immediately after, the rich girl told the cleaner to get out so she wouldn't ruin her good fortune. The man grabbed the trash cart and begged the cleaner for help. The rich girl then jumped on the man because the man was the CEO of the Lou Group. As long as they had a relationship, the rich girl could become the CEO's wife. The cleaner couldn't stand it and intervened. The rich girl immediately threw a wad of cash at her, telling her to take the money and leave. At that moment, the CEO said he would give the cleaner $1 million to make her drive away the rich girl. The cleaner returned the money to the rich girl, pushed her out, and locked the door. Seeing the CEO's distressed state, the cleaner prepared to take him to the bathroom to wake him up with cold water. Unexpectedly, she slipped and both of them fell into the bathtub. They locked eyes. The cleaner was instantly captivated by the CEO's handsome appearance. Due to being heavily intoxicated, he ended up having a relationship with a 40-year-old cleaner. The next morning, he woke up while the cleaner was still reminiscing about what happened last night. The CEO pulled out a bank card with $20 million as compensation for the cleaner. The cleaner said she didn't care about the money at all and regarded last night as a beautiful encounter. However, the CEO took last night very seriously and even took out a family heirloom ring to give to her, asking her to go to the Civil Affairs Bureau to get married. The cleaner was immediately at a loss for words. Meanwhile, the CEO's parents were having tea at the hotel, looking forward to seeing what their future daughter-in-law would be like, because the CEO had just texted his parents that he would bring his fiancé to meet them soon. When they saw that the fiancé their son was holding was the cleaner, the CEO's parents showed expressions of disbelief. They shouted the woman's name loudly. It turned out that the woman was a college classmate of the CEO's parents. CEO's father had pursued the woman back in the day. This awkward situation made the woman very nervous. Seeing that both sides knew each other, the CEO didn't need to introduce them and directly expressed his intention to marry the woman. Before his parents could object, the CEO left on the pretense of having something to do, leaving the woman to chat with his parents. The CEO's parents were very angry upon seeing this especially the mother who thought about how her husband had pursued the woman back in the day and now their son was pursuing her as well. The mother immediately pulled out a $10 million bank card and demanded that the woman give up her son. But the woman seemed indifferent to the money and returned the card to the CEO's mother. The CEO's mother, humiliated and angry, berated the woman, saying that if she wouldn't accept the money, she could just continue cleaning toilets. The next day, the Lou family held a jewel relaunch event with many celebrities and aristocrats in attendance including quite a few of the CEO's parents, old classmates. Everyone was discussing having just seen the woman working as a cleaner there. Upon hearing this, CEO's mother humiliated the woman, not knowing that the woman's true identity was beyond their reach because the woman's son was the local tycoon. Even her son didn't know that the woman was the Wall Street tycoon who had made headlines 10 years ago. She was just tired of the deceit and intrigue in the business world, just why she was working as a cleaner at her son's hotel. As everyone was discussing the woman, the woman came over pushing a food cart. Old classmates immediately started to ridicule her furiously, claiming that she was doing so poorly now that she had become a cleaner. The CEO, seeing this, told everyone to shut up immediately, stating that the woman was his fiancé and that starting tomorrow she would be the CEO's wife. Everyone looked on in disbelief after hearing this.